So um, our research question was how do students respond to one-to-one -one interventions with their own class teachers? Um, so obviously we did some reading around this and um, we were working really closely with uh, Mark McCourt at the beginning of the year, getting a lot of CPD from him. And um, he talked a lot about the, the um, fact that in order to use the Carlton Washburn kind of approach to mastery, you need to have closely homogenized groups in terms of previous attainment and um, current level, which is not something that we have in RFE classrooms. So we were looking at ways that we could address that. And um, we found that one of the one of the main findings from the um, China England exchange program, um, the maths hub exchange program, was to allow more time for same day interventions with ones uh, with with students own class teachers. Um, so that's not students going to a different class teacher. They were very specific that it should be with their own class teacher. Now, obviously, that's really hungry on teacher time. And that's why we don't have that kind of um, that model so much in this country. Um, but we, we, we thought maybe this could help. Um, we also found that a, a huge barrier for learning in adult reset classes was a fear of looking stupid in front of, of, of peers, which was um, in a DfE report on um, English and maths reset classes in adults. Um, so, next slide, please. Um, we thought, um, we also thought that this approach might help with um, issues peculiar to FE, which are that there are, if you can just click it a couple of times, um, just, yeah, uh, that there were yeah less contact time than secondary. So we figured anything that we can do that increases contact time with students is going to be helpful to them. Obviously, we've got this wide range of prior attainment. We want to address that. And we also thought that perhaps it could help um, to heal the wounds of secondary school that a lot of a lot of our students come in with having had negative experiences and not really wanting to engage with with their lessons, could it could it help to foster a better relationship with with teachers? Um, so thank you. What we did um, was we gave sessions of up to an hour, between thirty minutes and an hour, to individual students with their own teachers. We did not want to make this. Um, we didn't want to make this a mandatory thing. We didn't want to add to the to students' negative feeling about maths, um, and we. Um, uh sorry <laughs> um yeah we didn't want to we didn't want to make it into a, a negative thing for students we wanted to offer students that opportunity and we were ready for the fact that lots of students might say no to this when it came down to it actually only one student refused when they were offered intervention by their teacher which was quite interesting and and students um when we interviewed students they talked about the fact that they'd seen it as a privilege that they they, they really appreciated that time. Um, so we also obviously kept a record of all the interventions that we were giving, we interviewed students and we wrote case studies on some uh, key students um, across, uh, across uh, four different colleges. So if you can just tap it another time. Um, and yeah, following lockdown, um, obviously, that kind of scuppered our plans um, towards towards um, the exam period, but we carried on giving intervention sessions um, and we did it via Google Meets um, with shared screens. So just using voice only um, as per our college guidelines and yeah, using shared screens, which was which was quite interesting and it kind of gave rise to a few questions that we might go, we might look at further in the future. But, but basically different teachers responded differently to that. So 
I was really, I, I, I think I was the only teacher who responded quite positively to that. I thought there were a lot of advantages of working in that way. Um, and that was reflected in some students' responses as well. Um, they, some students talked about finding it less awkward than working on, uh, with a teacher on their own in the classroom. Um, there was also a massive advantage in that we were able to offer short interventions and there wasn't so much kind of, you know, if you're having somebody come physically in, it doesn't really make sense for them to only come in for 15 minutes, whereas online that was less of a barrier. So that was quite interesting, but really highlighted a need for more training about how to actually deliver those kinds of sessions and um, tools around that. So next slide, please. Um, so how did students respond? Well, largely they responded really positively. Um, and one of them, obviously the, uh, one of the main things that we were asking them about is how they felt about having, having these sessions with their own class teacher. Now, obviously any comparison to having sessions with a different teacher um, can only be kind of taken with a pinch of salt because they would, you know, well, while they will have had experience of having sessions with different teachers, they may not have had experience and lots of them didn't have experience of having one to one sessions with a different teacher. So that kind of we had to bear that in mind, but they were really positive about it. One of the major things that came through in their responses was how they felt about the relationship with their teacher and how important that was to them. Now, loads of these students have had, um, you know, a lot of different teachers in secondary school. So that might explain why they kind of prized that over, um, why, they, why they prized just having one, one teacher for these sessions. But this is a typical response from a student. I'll just give you a minute to read it. So that, that came through really strongly, that idea that it was important to them, the relationship was important to them, that they didn't have to feel awkward with a different teacher. Another thing, on the next slide please, um, another thing that came through was um, the students talked about how confusing it was to work with different teachers um, in, in their approach to maths. So using different techniques, different methods, um, or just different teaching approaches, students did not like that. And, and that came through quite strongly. Um, so again, these students generally have had a lot of different teachers, might, maybe more than one per academic year in their secondary school experience. So uh, yeah, they, that, that came through. So next slide, please. Another thing that came through was that, um, yeah, we, we tried, um, sorry, I meant to say this in an earlier slide, but when we were planning the sessions, we looked at ways that we could link that to lesson content, like the the one-to-one -one sessions had to be linked to the lesson content. So whether that was that we were pre-teaching something that was coming up or we were picking up on something that a student hadn't got with wave one and wave two interventions, we were picking it up in the wave three intervention. Um, so, and that students, a lot of them picked up on that and liked that and singled that out as a reason that they liked working with their own teacher. Um, that it was a very, there was a very clear link between what they were doing with their one-to-one -one sessions and what they were actually doing in the classroom. So here was a typical um, response from a student who had been pre-taught. So he said, the next session I'd be like, oh, I know this because we've just done it yesterday. It makes the lessons easier and it makes it more fun and enjoyable because I know what I'm doing. So that came through really strongly in the student response. Um, next slide, please, Joss. Overall, um, all students were really positive about their experience with one-to-one. -one. Um, now, I don't know whether this it, this can be linked so closely to the fact that it was with their teacher because I think that a lot of these kinds of things we would expect to see more practice as as I, I think is quite well 
uh, illustrated in the last comment there. He says, it's just extra maths, so it improves. Practice makes perfect, which is fair enough. We would expect them to feel more confident and happier about, about doing maths. So, uh, but, but it definitely came through from every student who, who, who had this intervention that it made them feel more positive and more uh, confident about their maths. So I'll just give you a second to read those. A lot of them also talked about, and this kind of goes back to that first point of, of the relationship being so central. A lot of them um, talked about appreciating the fact that it showed that their te teacher cared about their progress. Having these sessions told them something about the quality of that relationship, which I thought was quite interesting and, and maybe not something that they would get if they were just having, you know, almost being sent out to another teacher, being shipped out. I think that, that uh, yeah, um, that might be worth further investigation. So next slide, please. An unexpected... Um, effect of having these sessions was that students engaged much more with work outside of lessons. So they were much, much more likely to do homework um, outside of lessons if they had been given that homework in their one-to-one -one sessions. So students within within class do homework at a rate of about 20 to 30 percent um and within one-to-one -one sessions it was above 90 percent so what what caused that um there were there were lots of reasons that students gave so i'll give you a second just to read through those kind of responses So obviously these kind of responses reference the fact that there was a lot of feedback going on about that homework in the one-to-one -one sessions. So clearly that was important to students, but also students, this first student kind of talks about the fact that he realizes he needs to do it. Is he perhaps noticing that just the fact of going to this extra session and spending a bit more time on his maths is helping him and that's uh, kind of having the domino effect of him wanting to do more maths. We're, we're not quite sure on that, but definite marked change in the amount of work that those students were doing outside of lessons. So next slide, please. So just to recap on those, um, those points that came out, uh, there was a positive response from all students. They really appreciated having that pre-existing relationship already with their class teacher for the one-to-one -one sessions. They enjoyed having a consistency of approach in teaching and they noticed positively the tie into lesson content and the tailoring to their own needs. Um, and, and not only within the one-to-one -one sessions, but also going back into the lesson, teachers talked about being able to target questions based on what they knew they'd done in the one-to-one -one sessions. So tie in in the one-to-one -one sessions and in, in the lessons. Um, students definitely felt more confident in lessons following one-to-one -one interventions and they were more willing to complete homework given in one-to-one -one sessions than in class. So that's important. These one-to-one, -one, these students that were in the one-to-one -one sessions were not then, you know, assiduously doing their homework that they'd been given in class. No, they were still not doing that homework. It was the homework that they were given in the one-to-one -one session. So maybe it's something to do with feeling that it's more tailored to them. Or, or, I mean, a few of them touched on this in their response that they're not going to get away with not doing it because there's nowhere to hide. There's one person to do the homework. And if they've not done it, you know, it's going to be really clear. Uh, so next slide, please. So further questions for future research. Uh, we thought, could that consistency that is achieved in one-to-one -one sessions with the class teacher, could we replicate that with another adult by increasing communication between the class teacher and the second adult. Because we know that lots of colleges do offer one-to-one -one sessions with teaching assistants, with other second adults. Um, so can, can we kind of 
increase communications there to replicate some of those positive responses. Um, and could the benefit of a close relationship between the teacher and the student also be achieved with a, a teaching assistant or a second adult who supports in lessons and then gives one-to-one -one outside of lessons? So a lot of the time we have TAs in lessons and then it's a different TA who is offering one-to-one -one support. But if we could have more consistency across those, could that have a similar kind of an effect? Um, would small group sessions with the teacher work as effectively? So with all these questions, we're kind of thinking about sustainability uh, because obviously it's really expensive to have one-to-one -one sessions with a class teacher. So uh, yeah, would it work as well with, with small groups? Um, and could a change in approach to feedback influence participation in homework? So yeah, as many questions as we went in with, but we did answer the question of how, how they responded to one-to-one -to -one, uh, interventions and that was resoundingly positively. <laughs> can I stop sharing, Naomi? Yes, you can, thank you.